Philippines. It's a country that has 7,000 plus islands and 18 regions with beautiful places to go to and different people that you will meet. Everything has a story to tell and how it became part of every Filipino's life. It also has astonishing destinations, rich culture, amazing delicacies, and hospitable people. These are the reasons why the country is so colorful. What it makes more colorful are its arts and culture that were made by Filipinos, not only by their minds and creativity, but would also bring out the Filipino in them. The Banawi Rice Terraces is one of the eight wonders of the world. The Ifugao, collectively known as Igorot, is one of the indigenous group living in northern Luzon. They are the people behind the majestic view of the Banawi Rice Terraces. This majestic view might come to an end as they face a various issues that threaten the National Heritage Site. The Banawi Rice Terraces was created by the Ifugawas in their hands more than 2,000 years ago. should also be done by a united people, regardless of ideas, sex, and race. As we can take part in rebuilding the terraces, we can build a dominant effect wherein we can influence the people to take action as well. Our voice is the most powerful weapon we can have. With the rich culture of Ifugao and industry beautiful site of the Banawi Rice Terraces, it sparked tourism. Based on our research, the people in the business industry benefit the most tourism they forgot to benefit but not as much as the business industry. The reality is that as the tourists enjoy, and so does the business industry, the government as well because of the collected taxes, but not the Ifugao people, they are the ones who work hard to showcase their culture, but it appears that they are being benefited as they remain poor despite outrageous numbers of visitors. Now, how are we going to change the tourism industry in the Banawi Rice Terraces? First, the local government can create an organization for the Ipugao people. The organization will manage tourism so that their profit can increase and they would not threat of urbanization. In this way, can create more profit as they attract more tourists. And because of first-hand experience of culture has been existing since ancient time. Second, we must support the waving industry and other handicrafts they make. We support by protecting it from counterfeit products and promote them, not just here in the country, but to other states as well. The youth of Ifugao is losing their culture because of modernization. If you want to survive the national heritage, we must first to realize the state of people behind it. We should afflict them by improving our education system that teaches the equality and equity of all people. Through this, their culture will never die, and so does national heritage, because we understand and nurture the difference they have.